in a row, and that was 30 years ago. Still with a New York address, they are the New York Islanders. Good evening, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich, and an air of expectancy about this game because when you walk through the turnstiles and you go up to your seat, you know you're going to get to see the top point getter in the league, and that's a three. Who doesn't love to see goals and points, Doc? And when you have the leading scorer in the entire league on the ice, he's going to get a lot of attention from the other team's best defensive players. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Grice is in that goal crease again. There have been some special nights for him, and not surprisingly, special also for the Islanders. Semyon Varlamov, fresh from playing in Yaroslavl, Russia in the spring of 2009, became a surprise starter for the Washington Capitals in the playoffs, won seven games and had two shutouts. No one that spring had more, and he was just turning 21. Deshane's star status is known. That's why he gets to start this game. Colorado's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. The Avs, if there's a flaw with the way they're playing, it's tough to find. And that's exactly what the opponents they've beaten have been saying as they leave the ice. That one's tipped. Outstanding point-blank save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Lasered off his head. Off his pad. Great pressure there, Doc. I thought for sure there was going to be a goal. Play is halted right now, so it's a chance to hear from Ray Ferrar. The Avs are on a nice little run here. They've put together quite a few games in a row where they've not only won, but played excellent hockey. They're at the peak of their game right now. Many thanks, Ray. Lots on that to Barry. Marched narrowly inside, shoots one. Just couldn't find the target. You know what, Doc? I could see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Nicely into the zone. Referee's got a penalty on it. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. Polak's got a minor penalty here for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. New York's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Colorado survived it. Back even. Gains the zone. On. That's a marvelous save. The goalie makes himself look big. Polak's made this skate several times this season. He's got among the highest minutes and penalty total in the league. He's going to add to it again. Over seven minutes have been skated here in the first period. Both teams have tried hard, but only the goalies have been successful. Nothing, nothing. Quick work on the faceoff. To Lee. Nice job, straight stand-up poke check. That pass tipped away by the opposition. Offside is called. Somebody got over-anxious there. Colorado's confidence is at a sky-high level. Anything they need to do over the last 10 games, they've been able to find it. They need a big goal, they get it. They need a big save, they get it. They've been 180 degrees from their opponent, who has gotten none of that over their last 10. Propelled to Landeskog. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Keeps it going behind the goalie. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Royce had to be sharp there. That was an excellent scoring chance, but he was at his very best to make the save on the wrister. Passing one off now to Sezikis. And at an angle to Kuhleman. Great shooting lane. A magnificent pad save. Colorado's looking to head man up the wing. Took that wrist shot. Terrific shot, but a save. The dump in clears the defense. 
tied up on the boards. Kicks and escapes by Tootin. Up the wing, making some headway. Moved along and in. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Got in front of another one. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. That was a great scoring chance, guys. Better stop. Big face-off win. Flexed out that pad and got it. The Islanders luck that along up the wing. Puck loose now picked up. Puck loose couldn't drag it through. Snapping a pass to Polak. Loose puck knocked away by Hickey. Pass attempt to Stroll. Gets in, looks over his options here. Chip to Landeskog. A shot. They will get a breather shortly, but what'll happen next? Puck is thrown to Chimera. Let's it go! Trying to go to Landeskog. Colorado's in possession as they move up the wing. Swept on to Jelena. Went to the backhand. Deflected off the blocker. Now it's directed to Chimera. Fires! Oh, that was close. And that's one. First period has been played. Both teams have tried hard, but only the goalies have been successful. Nothing, nothing. We turn to the shots on goal. Heavy for one, light for the other. A gaudy 14 for Colorado and six for the Islanders. The first 3,000 fans in the arena the Islanders are being held in this game by their goaltender. It would be decisively against them without him. Here's an example of his work as we go to break. 20 minutes in the books, 20 minutes ahead. And so what did you think of the first? Well, first off, Doc, the goaltenders were very good. A couple of real tough saves at either end. But this might be one of the games, Doc, where the first goal definitely wins. Opening faceoff for period two. Nothing, nothing. Good work with the stick. Nicely padded away. Puck covered, whistle blown. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Quick work on the faceoff. Hammers it. Strong wrist shot. Save! Skill play by Boychuk. Scrum over, puck kicked. Slid to Boychuk. He gains the zone. Slides it to the point to Ladd. Back in his defensive end to get it. New York's in their own end and has possession. Loose puck gathered by Grigorenko. New York's prevailed on another faceoff. Give that goalie credit for another. Puck covered, whistle blown. Grace makes the save, not even breaking a sweat. He's in good position. That allows him to make this stop. The abs get the draw. Good shooting place. Knocked right off the stick. Perfect tip by the stick. Laid on to Tutin. Looking to pull off. Shoots one. Carried out of his own end towards center. New York's carrying it on through center ice. Long lead pass to Grabowski. Directing that one to Duchesne. Gets in. What'll he do? Nice work by Bernier. 
good stick work, and for that reason, it's a chance for the offense. Oh, the pass just didn't work. To Sezikis. Moving it to Bernier. On the outside, a shot. Pitching this one to Bernier. Puck settled down by Landis Carr. It's an onside play. Shoots one. Oh, a close call there. Looking for options up the wing. Fires. Blocked away. Shot. He scores! We've got a score in the game other than 0-0 zero, zero now. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with a quick release. Marlamov's trying to cover the bottom of the net, but the puck beats him anyway. New York's gotten a one-goal lead, and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. Colorado's got that one now. Gains the blue line. A shot. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. And possession once again by Barry. That is defense. Solid pass up the middle to Polak. The abs up the wing are moving the puck. On to Duchesne. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. New York's continuing on through center ice. A shot. Good chance. Denied. Last minute of play in the second period. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Time to look at the heavy totals for the shots on goal. 21 for Colorado and 19 for the New York Islanders. Grabowski's goal has made the difference so far, but is it the winner? Intermission time is here. Don't miss the chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city and see the official arena. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Avs are lucky to still be in this game. They've been outplayed in a lot of areas, especially with the time of possession. But one lucky shift or one lucky bounce, they're right back in it. Wristed one. Dogged determination there by Gabriel Landeskog. Has it picked up. Colorado's up the wing, setting things up. Big drive. Save. Carried from the defensive zone. Pitching it to Ladd. Shoots. Blocked. Skate kick out of the scrum. And the loose puck gathered in by Boychuk. The Islanders have it through the neutral zone. He's in on an onside play. is scooped up by Boychuk. <laughs> Passing one off now to Barry. Propelled to Duchesne. Pass to the slot. They score! And they've tied the game up! Landeskog's decision was pretty easy. This low on a slot, just snap it off, and he did. Polak's displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. The Avs have gotten this game back even. 
third period heroics for them. Let's see what happens next. They've got the draw. Snapping a pass to Polak. Loose puck. There was no getting through. Collected by Hammond. Puck loose. Strong defensive play by Duchesne. The Islanders love the puck in center ice. Into the end of attack. Shoots. Paddled aside. A shot. Not through. Polak's lugging it in his own end. Headed northward. Possession seized by Boychuk. Good try there. Two sticks together, they cancel. Little pass from his goalie here. Chip to Ladd. Got a piece of it. Grabbed by John Tavares. Pass attempt to McKinnon. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Got the blocker on that one. Good quick poke check there. And he motors on between the blue lines. Snaps a shot. Tay! Shoots. Stared him down and made the save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Puck is thrown to Ladd. Let's a shot fly. Score! They struck back fast, didn't they? Marlovov's been shaking his head since this puck went in. He stopped about 90% of it. It's not enough. New York's got the lead by one. And we are in the third period, and a dramatic stage is set. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Tender comes out, and he's got the puck on that big play. Loose puck taken by Ladd. Fires. You could almost count that one, but no. The Islanders want to generate something up the wing. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Taken to the corner by Bailey. Pass cut. Good job of clearing. And icing will be called on this play. Landeskog's among the highest goal scorers in the league. He does his damage from in close to the net. He'll power his way in looking for rebounds. He's got a real knack for where the loose puck is. A big win. Let's see what happens. At the point of drive. Slid to Boschman. Carries it to the corner. Oh, what a stop. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Tries to get it on net. Sauced. He scores! Might not have been his target for the year, but it's a good one to arrive at. 30 goals. You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Last minute of play in the third period. The Avs have carried this game into overtime because of this scoring play. We'll be right back with OT in just a moment. have begun sudden death overtime. There will be someone here who can end this. 
Good intercept. Gets in. What'll he do? A breakaway. Wonderful stop by Grice. Stick handling. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Trying to go to Tavares. And he steps in. Back near the blue line to Hamannick. Colorado's finding its way to center ice. And in their own end, still on the move. Shoots! He scores! Game over! Overtime winning goal! The game is over. Colorado's victory tonight is a sweet one. A strong surge late in overtime. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.